What's good, fellas? Slice out from Madden Daily, and today in this tip, we're taking a look at the Vince Lombardi playbook and his formation shotgun right. This empty shotgun formation is one of the most unique sets in Madden 13. Not only does this set have a QB blast run play to the quarterback, but we're also going to show you how to utilize motions to effectively pass out of this set. We can motion that far outside right receiver to the left, making it a trips left with two tight ends right, very similar to the formation that used to be in the Patriots playbook. You could also motion that right tight end to the left and have a trips left while still having a receiver to the right. But our favorite motion involves motioning that slot left receiver, he's actually a running back, to the right, creating a three tight end shotgun empty set formation. Now when motioning wide to the right, he actually becomes unbumpable on any route that we put him on. Here for example, we have him on a slant in, he's unbumpable and gets wide open. In our first setup, we're going to keep Y on a slant in. We're going to streak A and put B on a smart routed out route. Motion Y to the right. And as you can see, again, he gets wide open. To complement the slant in, we have A on the tight end streak, in which we can precision that inside or outside depending on the coverage. The flat and out route combo on the right side is also very effective against man and zone. A flat or purple zone will not stop the out route because every single time it will run down to the flat route leaving the out route wide open. Next is our isolated left outside receiver on the curl route. If there's no zone coverage underneath, as soon as he breaks to about 10 yards we're going to throw a bullet pass to him with no precision. With this setup we actually like to put him on a drag route as well. If there's no yellow hook zones on that left side. You could throw a high lob pass against man press. It looks covered, but if you get the timing right, you can do it every single time. If they're playing man off coverage, you could just throw without the lob. A drag to the X receiver also comes into play against man max coverage. Because if nothing's open right away, we can playmaker him up deep as he gets to the middle of the field for a huge gain. Our next setup that we're going to take a look at involves streaks to that wide receiver. However, versus a 4-3 two-man under defense, this is the only defense in which a streak will not work because the defender is going to get inside position. But any other defense, like a nickel, dime, or even like a cover one or cover zero, in which a safety is guarding that slot receiver, we're going to get inside position every time. Now we just switched to a dime defense. We're going to run the first setup one more time to show you that that slant in gets open even against a dime or nickel coverage. We are now ready for the second setup, which involves streaking that Y slot receiver and slanting A. Go! As you can see, that streak is gonna get open with an inside precision pass every time, and it's just as effective as a tight end streak. If our opponent overly plays that streak route, we have the tight end on the slant in, which we're gonna throw a precision pass down and to the inside. Occasionally, we're going to do a dual streak combo against man coverage. We could throw it to the inside for the slot receiver, and for the tight end, we could throw an outside precision pass. Finally, we could switch it up if we want both to attack the middle of the field. We're going to put Y on a drag route and A on a slant, and they both should be open versus man end zone. What's great about this formation and this curl combo play in general is that no matter if our opponent's in a man max coverage, zone max coverage, or even a man blitz, the read and route combos can stay the same. We could do a curl flat combo to either side. We could attack our opponent with drag routes, crossing routes, streaks to either or both tight ends. Not to mention one more setup that we use for this play and the ability to use the QB blast in this formation, which we're gonna break down both of those in our next video. Please comment and like this video if you enjoyed it, because if you did, I'm going to break down some more plays out of the Vince Lombardi playbook. Till next time, it's lights out.